Yo, what's going on, and welcome back to Dark Souls Remastered. Um, I did a little bit of research on what we're supposed to do with that door with that had the sunlight maggots and stuff around it. And it turns out we do need 30 humanities, which we're just short of. And it would also require us to turn around right here and go back immediately. If we keep going, then it immediately ruins or it determines the quest line and I don't think we can warp back to this bonfire so I think it's just kind of a waste of time to do that we could definitely maybe do that another time but on this playthrough I'm not that concerned with it I also switched my gear to the gold hem stuff so we'd have some better fire resist for this area up here and I think we're just gonna go straight into this area because I don't want to backtrack too badly. I don't want to go farm. All that sounds like something I don't want to do on this character at the moment. Uh, as far as weapons go, we're just gonna keep using this. I might consider using another Black Knight weapon like the Halberd if we get it, but I don't think we can get it since that one guy did not drop it for us. I think the only other guys who could drop it are pretty much at the end of the game. So we probably won't be switching up weapons anytime soon, except for when we go to the catacombs. Because there we will have to use our divine weapon. We're definitely going to want to upgrade that divine weapon, though. A little bit more to make the catacombs easier. I can't tell if there's an item back there. I don't believe so. But yeah, we're just going to keep going. I was watching some of the stuff so now the second we see this pop up it should theoretically determine where that quest line is going to go Solaire is going to take off and do what he does that is horrifying but i was looking at some of the stuff that i talked about in the past and i think i may have misspoken a little bit on how defense works in this game so when i was talking about how multi-damage is reduced by percents essentially just replace everything i was saying with flat reduction so like instead of you taking percent reduced physical damage and percent reduced fire damage you're taking a flat reduction so say you have or you're about to take 30 damage uh 15 of its fire 15 of its physical and you have 10 physical resist so you subtract 10 from the physical part then you're taking five physical damage and say you have five physical resist then you're taking 10 or say you have five fire resist then you're taking 10 fire damage so essentially you're just applying two flat numbers to it if instead you were just taking 30 physical damage you just subtract the 10 physical resist so when you're applying two reductions to it, it will be lower. But I guess we gotta deal with these guys. We got the lava ring. Let's see how much damage we do. Okay. We'll just miss immediately, I suppose. What a great time. We might have to like start kindling some bonfires or something. Uh, yep, uh, how did you reach me from so unbelievably far away? Uh -huh. Okay. We killed it. It's just like, I don't think we want to fight those things. That just seems like a poor decision. So, I'm thinking, and I think we just want to go back and kindle our bonfire. Because this area, we're pretty much going to be taking constant damage from the lava. So, we're going to want more Estes flasks. Oh boy, it has been a long time since I have done this area. So you can see Solaire is gone now. I thought I saw him in the corner. I was like, oh god, I'm wrong. But 
I suppose we can probably walk around those giant demons. Pop this, go reverse Holloway. And then we're going to figure out where we're going in this place. We're getting pretty close to a boss. This should be the last bonfire before the next boss. The question is, is how long is it gonna take us to clear this area without remembering where to go? And what else was I gonna say? Oh, I have been working on getting a Bloodborne playthrough going, hopefully. So I have a PlayStation 4 now, and I have Bloodborne. I do not have a capture card yet, so that is hopefully coming soon. I ordered one, but it's not here yet. So when that comes, we might be able to start Bloodborne, so we gotta hurry up and finish Dark Souls so we can start Bloodborne. Also, I have totally forgot, or maybe I mentioned this at some point, but I do have Neo as well, which I hear is fairly similar to Dark Souls. So we'll also be trying that out at some point. Probably want to play Bloodborne first because I've been interested in playing Bloodborne for a long time. But we'll see. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna avoid these weird like demon hind leg dog creatures. I don't know what this is. It looks like a skeleton kind of starts, but then it's it's detached, so that's creepy as hell. There's a lot of them. Holy Jesus. Yeah, I don't remember ever trying to take them on. Seems like a poor strategy to try and take them on. Got more of these weird demon things. Like rock demons. Oh. Wasn't there a guy here a second ago? There no rock demon here? I swear I saw one, and then I looked this way. This is just a chest. I swear something happens when you open this chest. Oh well. No? Nothing happens when you open it? Oh my god. Uh, you could just like politely stop your flying? I don't know how I feel about that. So we're just gonna go. We're gonna assume you cannot walk on this. Oh, that is not, I mean, he's, he's walking. Okay. There's an item back there? Killing me. I like items. There's two items back there. Where'd this guy go? Oh my Jesus! They're just so hard to hit. They're too big. I can't hit him. Like. You leave? Yeah, just go down there. Is he gonna de aggro now? I don't wanna fight that guy, he's mean. So if I remember correctly, we wanna go down there. Jesus, are there any other items that we can see? These guys are like kinda piled up over here. I think maybe we try and run and go get those items, figure out what they are. Everyone wants to know what those items are, right? It can only cost me a life or so. So this is another temple thing. Whatever this is supposed to be. For some reason, I remember... What's this? Bonfire head. There's bonfire in here? 
Uh huh, how do I bonfire? Oh, maybe it's a hidden wall over here? Oh, okay. So forget that whole amazing chest head. Yep, you got it. So forget that whole thing about there's no more bonfires up until um, up until the boss because there's this. So we're just gonna kindle this bonfire as well. We got the humanity since we're not going back to spend 30 humanity to do Solaris questline. It's very anticlimactic questline. Like. I would have done it, maybe if it was more special, but it turns out, like, he's in the same spot that he would be, except he's just, uh, like, sad instead of crazy. That's pretty much the, the distinction that occurs there. In one of them, he goes mad, in one of them, he's just sad. Okay, we're gonna sit back down and go the other way around this temple. We're going for that stupid item. Gotta get out of my way, Branch. This guy's a demon. Ah, right, we missed you. Alright. Fair. So, I feel like we can just avoid this guy. But we killed one. It only takes us three hits to kill him. But it's not like impossible to hit, apparently. Alright, moment of truth. Are these just like souls of a lost undead and I'm gonna be real sad about it? Okay, I'm I'm still really sad about it. Divine blessings. I don't know if I've ever used a divine blessing in my entire life. Probably like too good to use syndrome or something like that. Also I hope this lava's now just incredibly loud. It seems about as loud as water was for me, except constant. Okay, so we'll sit back at the bonfire, get full S's flask, and then we will take off in the direction that I think we're supposed to take off in. But we're also looking for something while we're down here. Because we would like that item or one of the other end game areas that we could have gone to. It, well, it's the catacombs. Like we were thinking about going to the catacombs, but then I decided not to go to the catacombs because I wanted this item first to make the catacombs easier. What happens if you drop right here? I'm gonna say nothing good. There might be an item under this. Can we go this way? Nope. At least the light is better here. Any items? So yeah, we're making pretty fast progress through this game for what it's worth. Although, I'm still scared of an area like the Duke's Arch- Oh my lord, where'd you come from? Like the Duke's Archives just being impossible to get past. So, I hope that doesn't happen. I'm just trying not to get lost in any of these endgame areas. Or just run my face into a wall repeatedly with no success. There are a lot of these down here. Oh, oh, what was that? What? Excuse me? Did someone just throw something at me? I'm just gonna hope that whatever just threw something at me is not coming after me at the moment because I'm busy. Gotta slay all these fire demons. Oh, you jerk. At least we got that fire resist on, but... Hey! Double kill. 
place is creepy. It's not as bad as Tomb of the Giants, though. That's a creepy place. So we might need to change our armor up a little bit. Fire resist is good right now because we got a lot of fire enemies to use at the moment, or to fight at the moment, not use. Uh, I kept the helmet on to give us a little bit of poise. I don't think it's helping, but you can, you can just allow me to imagine that it's helping, I suppose. Not to mention this helmet is pretty good in general. So yeah, I don't know what that is, but that's horrifying. But it gets two shot. That was like a giant potted plant. Potted plant monster. Are any of these fake? No. Oh, that's a mage guy up there, I'm thinking. This is another area. This is like... The problem with this game sometimes. I'm pretty sure we're supposed to go up to where that mage was. But... There's stuff to explore over here. You expect me to not go explore everything? And then you inevitably like die while exploring. Then you gotta go back to where you were exploring even though it's still the wrong way. And that's Dark Souls. Okay, but what is down here? I remembered like, oh! I did not remember that, however. Oh, there's more potted plant monsters. Oh, no. Um, we can go that way. Can we get up this? No. There's a potted plant monster up there. Is it coming down here? Who are these potted plant demons? Okay, what, what if we go this way? I don't want to drop into the water. I remember this area now, but I'm not happy about it. Nope, we cannot make that jump. Okay, so we gotta go around it this way over here, or drop down. Dropping down just sounds great. Look at how many teeth these things have. Jesus. I assume if you like try and plunging attack them that you just get sucked up into their teeth and eaten. Alright, so yeah, this was a detour I wasn't expecting to take and now I am thoroughly upset about it. There's another way to go that we have not been. That looks like a safe place to drop, ish. What's up here? Oh, a staircase. That seems like the safest place to drop. But I thought... Maybe I did things out of order? But I thought Onion Knight was supposed to be here to help us. With this part. Oh, we can just get back up here? Yeah, this just takes us out. But we're not little babies. We're gonna go down there. And we're gonna hope that we find Onion Knight or something. We are big fans of the Onion Club. Oh, it's poison water. Never mind. If Onion Knight was here, maybe. I don't see Onion Knight. I don't want to deal with poison water. We're out of here. Let's just check where I think Onion Knight should be one more time. I think he should be right here. 
ish. He's very, very clearly not here. Unless he got slain or something. Yeah, we're leaving. Those plants can fudge right off. Okay, so what were we doing? Surprised we haven't been invaded yet. I think there's a NPC invader up here somewhere, so hopefully we can get him before someone else gets to us. We came from up there, so we want to go this way still. Oh boy. Gotta love all these areas. But I think we need to explore because we want that item that'll help us in the... In the whatchamacallit, who's it? The, the catacombs and the tomb of the giants. Do we have to kill this titanite demon? I suppose so. I think what I want is behind him, so... You have a lot of HP. You hurt very much as well. Dodged. Oh, what? I'll call hacks on that one. We just gotta stagger him or something. Not now. He's not like this. That's not the attack you wanna be doing against me. Two demon titanites, huh? So yeah, his lightning does not track very hard. If it does at all, it didn't seem like his was at all because I could just walk around it. What is that area? Are you telling me that I missed that? What's down there? Or is that where I came from? I think that's where I came from. We got ourselves a Titanite Lizard. Boy. Get destroyed. There we go. This is what we were looking for. Oh no, it's S Solaire. Solaire, don't do it. Oh, Jesus. You hurt. You're like stronger than the demons in this area. Excuse me. My Okay, we had to do it to him. He was so strong. Hey, we got all this stuff though. Look at that. Did we get what we were looking for yet? No, what we were looking for is back there. Yeah. This is what we're looking for right here. That is the Sunlight Maggot, which is a helmet that essentially just casts a light spell while you're wearing it. And that'll help us in the darkness of the catacombs and the Tomb of the Giants. Yeah, unfortunately we couldn't save Solaire. If we had gone back, you can see that door looks very similar 
to the door we saw earlier. So if you um, if you give 30 humanity to the fair lady, uh, Quelog's sister, then she opens that door, or something opens that door, I don't know what it is. And then you can go back to that first Sunlight Maggot area that we were in, and you can go through the door and kill that red-eyed maggot. The red-eyed one is the one that gives you the item and it infests Solaire and makes him go mad. So if you kill that one before Solaire gets there, and he goes there immediately once you've entered uh, Lost Isolith. So you have to go, you have to figure out a way to get there without entering Lost Isolith first, which opening that door is the only way. Or you can kill the maggot through the door through like convoluted means like poison gas and stuff. But I didn't want to go all the way back after learning we could do that. <clears throat> but yeah, then Solaire's just kind of there and he's sad that he couldn't find his sunlight. But his quest line ends there. It's a vagrant! It's a good vagrant too! Holy crap! So, vagrants... I was talking about earlier in the thing how I said I saw that bad vagrant and he was all red. This guy was a good vagrant so he's like a titanite lizard where he will just try and run away and after he runs away for a little while he'll burrow himself into the ground if he's not killed. And he had a humanity so how they are supposed to spawn is if someone dies with like five humanity or something and then can't get back to their body to claim it. It supposedly spawns a vagrant. We can't get over there, can we? But it supposedly spawns a vagrant. Oh my god. That's annoying. Because now we gotta go here multiple times. It supposedly spawns a vagrant. And then the vagrant, how I was explaining it earlier, the more he survives, the more that humanity upgrades. So I think it can upgrade to like a twin humanity and then maybe just multiple humanities in general. But yeah, that's cool. Although I thought I thought the dark ones were the ones that carried humanity and the the good ones in quotations were the ones that carried items. But he didn't give us an item. Well he gave us humanity as an item. I don't know if humanity is one of the items he's supposed to be able to give. But yeah, that's apparently incredibly rare. Look at him. He's got like a crab claw. He's all weird. I don't know what's up with that guy. But we won't. I'm so mad. <laughs> I just want your item. Is there like... A better way that I'm supposed to be landing on this probably the staircase is so long okay we just gotta do this smart it takes actually 2,000 years to get over here I would laugh if there's actually no way to get this item it's just like a joke it's like slightly thicker here. Oh, okay. It's just a ring of sacrifice. I feel cheated. But yeah, I don't really want to go back to potted plant area. It just doesn't sound like a fun time. It's just poison water and I'm pretty sure there's nothing that cool down there. If Ziegmeier was there, I don't know what we did wrong. I, oh, he's probably in the catacombs right now. Somewhere. So we probably had to go to the catacombs first to continue his story. Is there anything over here that we missed? There's a pod plant man over there. Well, over this way. Oh, that's where the sunlight maggot was. Okay. So now we can continue on. Gotta be getting close to the boss. First we fight this guy though. Okay. Chaos. Fire. Oh, Kirk.
Kirk. You little scumbag thing. Hey, we found the Kirk invasion. <laughs> Stop running from me. How do you like that? That's right. I got a ultra great sword. What are you gonna do about it? So I think that's the boss right there. So we'll just keep exploring. And we might, because we're, we're pretty much at the end here. So we might Homeward Bone back. Right after we finish exploring. And then we'll go spend our souls, and then we'll just run back here again. And fight the boss. Fire Whip. So what that Witch of Izalith was just using. Uh, there's got to be like a shortcut or something, right? Is it this? Nope, that ain't no shortcut. There's no shortcut, but this doesn't seem like a very difficult run. We got here very quickly. Yeah, this is definitely the boss. So I think we just homeward bound back. We got 63,000 souls. I'm not Again, I'm not that concerned with souls, but we might as well get our free level ups, especially since we haven't been using homeward bones for anything. So we just got them laying around. Got eight of them. Go back, get some levels. And that is should be all of Lost Isolith essentially explored. We talked about how to do Solaire's quest line. And stuff like that. I am definitely we can get three levels. Yeah. So we'll get one and then two. I like that. That seems like the best way to do it. I got something stuck to my foot. Okay. We're good. So, yeah, I think we'll just go with those. <clears throat> Jesus. Get some more equipment load and stuff like that. I don't know if we need the lava ring for the boss fight. But we'll probably just keep the lava ring on. In between, I'm going to swap our gear to be able to run a little bit faster, I'm thinking. But that will happen all before you see us the next time. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time.